Hello my wonderful friends, Magus with you on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to this channel, we're Zoroastrians, we are the Magi. Welcome. Oh, do I have a message for you today. My friends, every day I go into meditation and I try to get a pure message from pure spirit and, and I ask that it's a message that will change the viewer's life forever and I believe if you're here right now this message is for you before we get to that message real quick I, I'll do this fast I, I'm going to break this up into three sections I, I, I want to talk about first just just the love and beauty that is being poured into the Order of the Magi right now. And I'll do it quick. Secondly, I'm going to give this message that I promise you stay for. You will not be disappointed. And, and then third, I just want to talk to the Order of the Magi uh, about what's been going on and, and what's to come. So this morning, I was overwhelmed with gratitude, with so much love. I, I could feel the spirit of Zoroaster. And it, I felt warm tears welling up in my eyes and so much love. You know, the name Zoroaster means pure light, undefiled light, undiluted light. It's just, it's pure light, pure truth, pure love, undiluted, undefiled. And I felt that spirit, the, the, the magi that were, are, and shall be that were partnered with that that all good spirit that every day I get to go into meditation and, and get a message to give to the order of the Magi and I, I was overwhelmed so grateful because I know what that message of Zoroaster did for my life where every day I, I can enjoy this beauty of this gift called life you know and, and then I was sitting out this morning with my cup of coffee and, and, and Oh, it just overwhelmed. I was thinking, can anything be this beautiful? Like my heart almost couldn't handle it, guys. It was so beautiful. The sun and the birds singing and the fresh mountain air. And I was so grateful. And then, and this is for the new people. I just want you to see what kind of family and community the Order of the Magi are. I go to my comments from yesterday's video. Listen to this. Hello Magus, my name is Daniel. I am new to your channel and I have known this truth for some time. I just didn't know how to prove it, but thank God for the original religion of Zoroastrianism. I am so grateful for you in this channel. I thank our good Heavenly Father for what he has done and for your love, obedience, and persistence. I'm so thankful you never gave up in times of discouragement because if you did, I would have never found your channel. I love you, Magus. Love you, fellow brother in Asha. My friends, you know how much I needed to hear that. We've been doing this for six years, and I, I, I have, it, my friends, it's more than a purpose. It, it, it's gone way beyond that to bring Asha, heaven on earth, to, to people's lives. It, because you know how when you give, you know, think like Christmas, you give a gift, you get the blessing. You, you're so blessed, my friends. It, you know, all the money we get from book sales, we give to charity. I, I actually, it's funny, I, I, I almost cry every month when we do that because I'm thinking, my God, we really are wonderful, you know. And it, it's ridiculous, I know, but it feels so good to give. It feels so good to love. It feels so good just to do right. My friends, listen to this from... Uh, I, I hope I'm saying your name right, Thorolf. It says, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for this message. Keep going. Don't ever stop speaking the truth of Ahura Mazda and Zarathustra's teachings. The pure light of Asha will shine brighter and brighter, casting away all the druge. That's the lie. Uh, the malignancies of the evil spirit. Uh, I love the key analogy. It's the, I'll I'm going to touch on that at the end of this video here, because the video got cut off at the end. So I'll, I'll recap a little bit about the key and, and then finish up 
uh, the message from yesterday. It says, I love the key analogy. It, it's true that children are being cut to fit the mold of the chaos and confusion sown by the lie. We see it everywhere. This is from BC. Thank you, Magus. A good, better, perfect message. I send you love and admiration. You improve my life every day. Alfonso from Madrid, Spain. Oh, can you imagine how much this touches your life? It's not me, my friends. It's just the message. This message of love and the pure spirit. It sets people free and, and they're grateful. And it brings more love, more things to be grateful for. This is from uh, Eunice. It, it was a so right and powerful message for humankind. Thank you so much, dear Magus. Love you, dear brother. And then, uh, sweet Timmy, listen to this. Asha is, thank you, Magus. You told me about our God. He is loving, merciful, and kind. I love you. Bless you. Bless the Ashavans. I love you, Timmy. It's what a sweetheart. It, my friends, when you join us here at the Order of the Magi, the Ashavans, you're joining a beautiful family. It, it's a lifestyle. Being a Magi, it's a lifestyle. Stargazers and our, our little orange books and our Asha hoodies and, and love and, and love for Zoroaster and his message and love for each other and just pure, undefiled, undiluted love. The perfect creator's perfect idea that we call Asha. So the message I got from Spirit today, Spirit was showing me that, that the world really does reflect what's inside of us. You know, in my book, Still Pools of the Mind, I, just, I don't know if I mentioned this for the new people, all the money we get from books sales here at BFA Books goes to charity. But there's a story in there that shows this perfectly, that the mirror is going to, or the world is going to reflect what is inside of us. And I was up here in the mountains with a friend of mine, and I was having the best day ever. He was having the worst day ever. We're in the same place, experiencing the same thing, but having a completely different view of what was going on. He was living in a hell in his own mind, I was living in Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. And Spirit was really showing me, it's what's inside of you. And I found out later that friend of mine, uh, he was having an adulterous relationship. Uh, he was making his living in a way that was not legal. He, if he was talking, he was usually lying. He, he was a deceiver. And so he viewed the whole world like that. My, my friends, he thought the whole world was lying and a deceiver that they were cheaters like he was and the world was ugly to him and now I, I was holding Mazda, uh, Zoroaster, Pure Light I, I was living by my morals I'm not bragging on myself but there's a reward for living in your morals making the right choice being loving being kind doing what's right and so I saw the rest of the world like that and it's beautiful my friends, it is so true. If you're seeing the world ugly, I, I, we have to look inside ourselves. Asha 10 says, what energy am I really? You know, Asha 15 says, tell the truth. Speak Asha. I'm the perfect creator's perfect idea. I am love. I come from good spirit. I'm made of good spirit. I'm peace. I'm joy. I'm kind. Every life I touch, I, I touch with that, with that love of God. And when you live like that, you see the world like that. You, you, you see the animals like that. You see other people like that. You, you know, I was thinking about the news. If you're living in one of those places where you're, the, mirror is, uh, the world is mirrored to you ugly, and maybe you're holding some ugliness inside of you, like you flip on the news and they'll show two countries fighting. And you think how ugly the world is. But they don't mention the hundreds, how many hundreds of countries are there out there that are getting along just fine. They never comment on that. Hey guys, United States and Canada still getting along famously. You know, hundreds of years. They never talk about that. They, they, they look for the negative. And, and people that have negative in them, they, they, they focus in on that. And the world seems 
so ugly. You, you turn on music and it's it can be depressing. It, it, it's what you're in resonance for. I'm so lonesome, I could die. You know, or, or if you're like me, man, you turn on for real because I'm happy. You know, it's a, you, you're going to be drawn to the, the like things, like frequencies, like people, like circumstances. And so two people can be in the same place and having a completely different experience of it. What's, what's inside of you? Are you holding the pure? And it takes us back to yesterday's message. Let me just touch on this. Well, if you didn't see it, please go back and watch it. But we talked about uh, the key, the master key that, that our children are, are, are cut out of. And it's a God that in the world of religions, it gets angry, hates, wars, kills men, women, and children. Re repents that he even made his own children. My friends, but then there's a true God. The highest principle of good that's just love and peace and joy and kind and thinks you're the most amazing being ever. His child, his love, his apple of his eye. My friends, that's the true God. And when people hear it, they, yes, that makes sense. God means the highest principle of good. That's that. And that's what resonates in my heart. And that's what we should be molding ourselves after our children. Friends, it's so simple and so beautiful. Zoroaster, undiluted, undefiled, pure. Our, our God, he's not mixed. He doesn't love and hate. He's not at peace and war. He's just good. My friends, and when you tell the truth, like Asha 15 says, tell the truth. Speak only truth to yourself and it will form. Hold that frequency of truth of the all good God and you'll manifest it in your world. That's so simple, so beautiful, so reasonable. I love the message of Asha, the message of Zoroastrianism. Our wonderful friend Tim, now I want to talk to the Magi. I just sent you this morning, sent it off in the mail, a signed hard copy of Asha. And you know what, there's, there's not a lot of signed ones. I think there's only two signed hard copies out there now, and maybe five or six paperbacks. Because I want them to be worth something. You know, and I do feel one day it's, it, it's going to be worth something, guys. And, and I, I got to talk about Tim. And, of course, Timmy and Gulliver and Michelle. And, and whenever I start doing this name off names, I'm thinking, Megas, don't do that. There's too many and you're going to leave someone else. It's going to hurt their feelings. All of you. I love you so much. The ones that every month you, you, you get Asha and you hand them out. All the money we get from book sales goes to charity. So I keep none of the money, never will, never have. And then on top of it, you're handing out these books and tell people, go, go to the YouTube channel. Listen to this. this. This is what the world needs. And I get so many messages. So, you know, Tim sent me. Uh, Timmy sent me. Michelle sent me. Uh, you know, uh, Richard sent me. Uh, just beautiful beautiful so I'm so proud of you Magi I love you so much and you're doing something so amazing you know and I want to talk about this for you and the new people how do you become a Zoroastrian uh, I always just tell you what Zoroaster himself said there, there's a lot of uh, you know different rituals people do let me just tell you what he said he said to partner with me the Magi that were are and shall forever be where, where you, you, you become one with this, this all good spirit and this group of brothers and sisters, this family. He, he said, share my message. That's all you got to do. 